was that? I don't know. Oh, oh it. <laughs> it's got that steel rod. Oh, it's smoking. Boom. I turned it off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Quick word, February 9th and 10th, I will be at the Ag Expo in Tulare, California. I'm going to be down there hanging out, checking out all the equipment. Main thing is, going to be kicking back with the Global Machinery crew. They have a big booth set up, Takahushi brand, Prime Tech brand, some Mechalex, Johnny's brand new 2150 35,000 pound Takahushi excavator. That's going to be on display there. And possibly, without giving away too much information, my new excavator with the rotating grapple will be on display there as well. So come check it out again February 9th and 10th. Enjoy the Well, you guys have been asking for one of these for a long time. I tried to make a deal with a somewhat reputable brand. But they didn't want to hang. So I found this one literally right down the road. Facebook score. And the gentleman's not even home yet. Looked at it last night. Mark down there. Turn her into it. See if we can get this thing loaded up on Diamond C. I think it's barely going to fit, but we're just going to limp it home. Wide load status. Wonder. Well, got stuff to deal with. Super tight. I was trying to call you to see if we needed impact, but you were out there stuck at the gate. Having a have not actually seen one of these four posters in action as far as you lower it down and it's got casters down there so that you can wheel it around. Oh, hang on. Up, oh, go back up with it. Hit the bolt. Okay. Slow it down, let me check the other ones. Floor it, floor deck. It's trying. Come on, baby. Oh. Got a or something to tie this. Or stand on it, dude. I could do. I have a bungee. Here, I'm gonna hop on it. What was that? I don't know. You go oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that steel rod. Oh, it's smoking. The wires. Ooh. I turned it off. Oh! Yeah. It lifted up into the thing. Not good. <laughs> well, sounds good now. And a screwdriver. Tools on the truck. Well, Mark happened to have a yak yak gun. Zip that thing off there real quick. For measurement sake, so you guys know, that's how wide the trailer is right there, so it's barely going to overhang. I did, you know, permit and everything. I got the sign for the front of the truck. It's permit. Is that your water? The back swinging. Getting ready to drop off this board over here. Okay, go for it. And Gonna go kaboom. Okay. 
Okay, it's going to hit the garage post over there. Something about those casters hitting that thing. Give it a little. <laughs> it works. Sure. Right. Ports on there once we get it up that. Okay, I think that'll work. Give her some. Keep going. Yep. Nope. Let's just do it like that and we'll go forward like five we'll just, feet and chain it down. We'll just, we'll just chain it right there. <laughs> thought about it, but I want a little tongue weight. Does this go forward to touch? Hey, I gotta get in the back. Got enough securement, I would say. Pulling it apart rather than down, since it's just resting on these casters. Feels pretty solid. The guy we're buying it from, he's not here right now. So I guess I'll have to wait till I can give him some cash. Doesn't seem like a good idea if you're selling stuff on Facebook to not be here when they load it up, but we're honest folks, one of us. So I'll wait for him, but there, lift. Rated for all of it. See if I get somebody to come help with this. I'm gonna verify two grand, one, two, three, four, ten, one, two, four, ten, boom, I'm gonna set it for him. Z ain't around, but. Well, I've got no idea what this place was, but it's, Laid out like a damn nice park. <laughs> All right. Sure. Well, I tell you, that is, that's gotta be a first right there. Met the guy last night, agreed on the price. Said I'll be back tomorrow night. Said, sounds good, I'll see you then. I texted him, shoot, three hours ago. Said, hey, I'll be there at this time. He didn't write back, didn't write back. Then he said his old man will be there. Look at her back there. She's got a little load, a little wide load action. But his dad showed up literally when I got in the truck and I was ready to leave out of there. But I already had a discussion where the money went and all that stuff. So the guy that thinks I'm honest, no, he's honest. It's rock and roll. Let's get this thing back to the house. I think my neighbor Austin's going to help me unload this bad girl. Oh, that's a low wire. Don't hit. No. Oh. Just kidding, we're under, we're under the uh, limit. This headlights back there is a Ford that wanted to tailgate me. Then we can get real with it going up a hill. He just, he didn't have it. I'm gonna, this is my road right here anyway, but. What's the matter back there, bud? You wanna tailgate, then you lose the race. Get on the level. Oh, daggone. Made it back to the shop. All right. Appears to be intact still. Get her kind of angled around here a little bit and run over the pressure washer and just go over right here. seasoned uh, electrician at work I told him this thing was quote unquote shortened out earlier and he said well that's what they all say yeah, <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I well that shop was almost burned up I'll tell you that much <laughs> I'm certainly glad that the guy wasn't there I told him I make YouTube videos and yeah, I was going to send him the link gonna go turn on his main and burn down his house. oh we turned it back on we double checked it oh you turned it back on it was still sparking we closed the door I thought you guys turned it off and then just walked out no <laughs> he's gonna be like why is my power off why is my main off yeah no it, it was a sight for us to only see anyway austin's gonna go ahead and slap together a little plug-in on it for us and i got a extension cord roll-up device on the ceiling 
So that'll pretty much get us wherever we need. Mode. We've got the 90s added plug here. It's a Levington. I need this little thing for my tool bag. Yeah, you are After the one going to plug it in. It right out. there, dude, right by your ear. Oh. Remember, you installed that plug in, right? Like, literally, you installed that one. I forget. So, if we don't have... If my eyebrows are missing after this plugs in. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Jesus. All right, you ready? Hit that little button. This one? Yep. Keep it going. Let her eat. Hit my boat over there. <laughs> Hit. Why did it stop? Hit it. What the hell? Oh, it tripped that thing. Yeah, it might be uh, I heard it click. Damn, the lights kind of flickered. 20 amps. <laughs> Seems a little bit ridiculous. Well, we've had <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Go get your brand new truck. Mine hasn't showed up yet. I mean, it doesn't feel too terrible. Looks terrible though. <laughs> We're gonna need some bolts. At least quarter inches. Save so much time by not tearing it apart. Save so much time by not ordering one and having to put it all together. Anna! <laughs> Come on, Anna, get over here now. Dang dog. It'll double as storage for the Mopars that you're gonna keep buying. <sighs> okay. Oh, you pulled the lever? Now, slightly illegal getting this thing back to the house, but saved a whole bunch of time by not having to tear it down. That was worth it. It wasn't overloaded or over width by too much. Definitely not overloaded. But the whole point of why I wanted to get one of these is for those casters. So I can literally just roll it out of the shop. And I've seen videos where guys, if they had a car on it, the casters, you could actually still move the whole lift around with car on it on the caster so that's kind of neat but the shop literally don't have tons of room to spare and the back corner i like kind of turning that into a paint booth but then if i do add the 60 feet which i'd very much like to do then this can just be left over here as storage because it was fairly inexpensive compared to you know how much these things cost brand new i got it for 40 percent normal cost i mean it's obviously used but didn't have to put it together so that saved a bunch of time and saved money. But there we go. You guys have been hounding me for the last three years to get a lift. And I didn't care for one because I can get underneath trucks. But I cannot get underneath the cars. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you guys think of the four poster. I'm definitely going to put some recessed nuts is what our plan is in the ground. So that the ground still remains flush. And we can bolt this thing down. And then when we don't need it. We can, you know, just with the impact, be freed up, take it on out. At least that's the plan right now. Well, let me know what you guys think. Later. All right, guys. As far as this lift goes, I do not plan on going anything more than like, let's say, 7,000 pound, which is about a second gen on this lift. Primary use for this is going to be for the second channel for all the cars. Because if you guys know in this last year, I bought a 70 Challenger, 70 Charger, 69 charger and then I just picked up a 14 challenger shaker option. That's a rare car But those are relatively light compared to a diesel pickup So in the realm of you know being too carried away overloading this thing I'm not gonna put dualies on there. That's just not what this lift is for I don't care to put the dualies on it anyway Don't really have a need for it mainly just smaller cars because they're so hard to get underneath anyway So just put it on there hit the button level her up We'll get this thing bolted down. Other lifts, they do have, obviously, a lot more meat to the legs. This one, I do believe, um, it should be bolted down if you're going to be using it on a regular basis. So, that's what we're going to do. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good week. See you. It's Larry.